This is a story about a guy named Mel. He's a lot like you and me, except he lives in a place called Hollywood, which isn't even really there. He's married, but he fools around a lot. And he's got an incompetent nephew who makes him crazy a lot. And a psychiatrist who's trying to make him sane, but that isn't really happening a lot. He's got a soon-to-be ex-wife who'd like to see him dead, and that might actually happen. He runs a movie studio called Hopeless. His life is a mess, and you should be glad you're not him. Hello? It's, it's Pegola. Oh, 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 help. Are you all right? Oh, no. I just dropped my hairbrush in the toilet. I'm standing here in my birthday suit. I'm trying to get my face on. I am not all right. This is what you called to tell me? No, 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 no. I just ran into Peter Bart. He says your picture in Zagreb is in trouble. What? He says your director's in a coma. No. He says Jim Carrey's not doing Cry Clown. Absolutely not he true. He says Futterman's replacing you. <laughs> he says you are out on your ass. Lies. On my mother's life, lies. Your mother's dead. Peggy, hold on one second. I'll get back to you. Hello? Mel, it's Ira. Hey, Ira. You know that hostile takeover I mentioned? Yes. Forget hostile. Think invasion of the body snatchers, my friend. Uh, Think uh, Spanish Inquisition, uh, okay? Salem witch hunt, yeah, jihad. Yeah. We're not talking watch your ass anymore. We're talking watch your front, your back, your pacemaker, your kishkas. Have I made myself clear? I think so. Okay, I love you. I gotta go, bud. Bye. We start production on Death of a Saleswoman next week. But what is it about? Well, you remember Death of a Salesman. Excuse me, who can yeah. forget? Arthur right. Miller, brilliant. Yeah, Wasn't yeah. he related to Penelope Ann Miller? Was it One Ann of the Miller, other Rebecca Millers. Miller? I think so, I think so. It's Rebecca, not important. Rebecca's it's not daughter. important. It's not important. The screenplay is phenomenal. Skip Tremel is doing a brilliant rewrite as we speak. Death of a Saleswoman is probably the only script I've ever read, you know, about a woman's midlife crisis. You know, we always hear the man's midlife crisis. Right. Big Mama's House had that, but th that was played by a man. That's right. That's right. You're able to capture a woman's complete breakdown through a man's eyes, but back through a woman's eyes, if, if, if you know what I mean. Well, that's what I want to do. I want to get inside her. I think you do get inside her. Yeah, but not, there's not enough uh, tired lines for her. Tired? Yeah, I mean, I, I need her a little, I need her, I need her more worn out. Uh huh. Well, maybe if we if we improv something, I can That'd you know you can. I love to improv this. Paul, hey. Polly, Pablo. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm so sorry that uh, it's taking us so long to. You're a busy man. You're a busy. No, that's no, that's no, why no, we no. love you. That's. I'm, I'm, I'm mortified. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Listen, I I really I I, I would love to hear your feedback on uh, Death of a Saleswoman, if you got a minute, or two. <laughs> yeah. Um. Here's the thing. Yeah. I really think it's great. I yeah. think it can make a great movie. It's a great movie. Um, it's, it's going to be a great movie. The if we folding have the right thing, director. Yeah. The folding thing, when she's folding the thing. Yeah. With it, yeah. it goes on a long time. But, oh, but that's the point. It, no, I know. It's one great. shot, one ten-minute shot of a woman folding blouses. That's your picture. That's your movie. That's that woman's life. Um, for me, the thing is, uh, something really has to get under my skin if I'm going to uh, do it. And I don't think I'd be serving you. Well, the characters didn't speak to you, though? I mean, um, they were speaking a lot, yeah. and I thought that was great, Yeah. because so much of film nowadays doesn't have actual dialogue. That's why we called you. That's why we called you, because we know that you love dialogue. All right, so uh, she's come in, and she's obviously got her kind yeah. of her tail between her legs, so there's, well, many things, but I think the first thing he does is 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 just walk up to her and, and, and like this, and, and just put his hand on, on, on her shoulders. You see? Oh, I like that. Does that feel right to you? That that feels good. And, and just and and he says, "Well, the the oh. night is young." The night is. You see, so he's he's not really that pissed. Right, right. Yes. Oh, mm, the night is young. I. I think the I think he would start running his his hand through her hair like this. That would be. Oh, that's nice. No, that's good. That feels real. Uh, let me let me just I, I just want to make sure that you 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 really really got the scene in the bus because that uh, that's that's the scene that yelled Paul White <laughs> it just it hollered your name um, off the page at me I'm so flattered yeah and uh, and you like that scene right I like it yeah because it there's a like, yes it was like speed just without the action yeah the, well look, I mean it's a regular bus but there's that tension and there's that that thing I think she would want to respond to him and maybe like take off her, her, her blouse. Oh, all right. 
so that he would have an idea that, yeah, she's on the same page, that she's, yes, she's tired, but she's not that tired. Right. And, right. And, oh, gosh. Oh, it has been such a long day, but I really need to have a release. Yeah. This seems more real for some reason. Here this we is go. Mm. This is starting to feel really... Yeah. This... Oh, my bra. This damn bra is too tight. The wires. I think my bra should be off. I think so. I think... I'm, I don't think he'd be wearing pants at this time. That's for sure. And, and well, certainly not a shirt. You should take his pants off. Maybe they just say the hell with it. You know, let's, let's just take it all off. Mm. Well, that, no, that's, that's oh good. Oh, my God. Oh, that's nice. That's really I nice. don't... <laughs> would, oh, would, I he know. wouldn't wear a condom, I don't think. No. no oh. No, I, I think he would. No, I don't think so. No. I, I don't think he'd have time. He's got to put one on. I, I, put one on. I, I, well, there's no point now. Um, my name is Elise Cuccinello, and um, I'm reading this scene with the assistant to the sales lady. Paul, we need you. On this picture, this picture is going to disappear up my ass if we don't, if we don't anchor it to a Paul White's. Um, All right, I mean, don't don't make me beg. I don't know. I uh, that is also flattering, yep. a little scary. But <laughs> I know you're exaggerating. Welcome to my that. world. No, I'm not. I'm not exaggerating in the slightest. Um, I need you to, and that's why I'm not going to risk our relationship oh, by uh, by doing this film. This woman. Cannot be thrown aside. Well, can I can I ask like can I ask example? you one thing really really quickly? Sure. Uh, yeah. Anything. Is your is your brother interested in directing? He's uh yes. I think this might interest him. Really? I think it might. Okay. Well, give me his number. That I don't have. Oh. Is that a crime? What can you say about such a woman? What can you say about such a store? What can we say about this world? where perfume is sprayed willy-nilly and nobody smells good, ever. And seeing, thank you. Thank you very much. Was that? That was lovely. It was? That was really lovely. Did, did you I, study anywhere or is this something kind well, of? Well, high school, mm -hmm. and, you know. Well, listen, you, I'm putting a little asterisk uh, <laughs> next to your name. <laughs> Uh, and so it's an asterisk. Uh, it's like a little star uh, oh, kind of a deal, you know. Oh, and it I just like means that. it just means remember her. And uh, yeah, you've got a wonderful quality. Thank and I, you. I'm so glad you came in. I think um, you're very. You have a quality. Uh, well, I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to have a quality. Oh. Without a quality, I got nothing. But well, um, um, have you have you ever are you ever into essential oils or anything like? I've I've never seen I mean, this in the stores. That. This just is what do you think? That's lovely. That's uh, sort of a rose. Uh, yeah. With a little uh, cumin that smells like kind of like chili with the, in a in a garden. <laughs> Listen, are you? I'm. I'm. Why don't I do this? Why don't I give you the personal cell number of my assistant? You call him. He'll call me, and we'll set something up. We'll see what we can do. Okay. 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 Uh, great. Great. Yeah. Well, I just feel like my my character should have an orgasm, and your character didn't give me one. Well, I, th I think he was, I, th I think he was so excited, really, that he, that he he tried to hold back to give you the time. Yeah, but your character got to have an orgasm. Yes, he did because. Does it I think, say in your you script know, somewhere that my character doesn't get to have an orgasm? Um, not at this point. I could put. Is that there another in. script I, coming then? I can I can probably try to get something done so that we could she uh, oh, has. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe multiple multiple orgasms. See, that's much more my kind of story. Mel? Ira. I don't want to upset you. Have you redone your will? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Order your tombstone. You collected oh. the burial plot. Picked out a dark suit. What's A new? decent floral arrangement. Now what? You, I gotta go. I'll call you. That's it? Hello? Hello? Nora? Hey, Mel. Hey, how are you? I'm good. good. I'm good. And you? I'm great. I'm just absolutely great. Um, I wanted to, I, I sent you a little something. I, I, I hope you had a little time to take a look at it. And um, uh -huh. please, please save my life. Can refresh my memory? <laughs> Death of a Saleswoman. Oh. The Bloomies movie, yeah. Well, 
Well, you know, no. I mean, I uh, I can't tell you that I actually read it. I, I read at it. Oh. I, I sort Is it of... a question of time? Do you need more time? No, I, I just... You know how sometimes it just takes a few pages and... It was like, uh, the... I don't think... I, in fact, um, I, I'm not sure why you were sending it to me. Ah. Uh. I guess it was the word woman or something. Well, I think that's part of it. But I also knew that you would get past the first 20 pages, where I admit we have a lot of a lot of problems. And page 21, if you got that far, and, and what you, is it exactly? you'd be calling me. On page 21. In page All the characters die. That would be helpful. I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm no. I'm sorry. Listen, I know. Mel, yeah. I, would, I would love to work with you. Yeah. I have a lot of respect. For what you've done, et cetera, you. but I, I just feel like, what can I say? Thank you, I love you so much. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, Mom, Dad, where are you now that I really need you? Mr. Failure. Mr. Mr. Failure. Did we if not call that one? We sure did. If you, uh, yeah. Mel, uh, ha- you haven't been thinking about your mother, dear. I have. I think, I think about you all the time. Very Mark. long time. I think about you. I think it about was Dad. My I think about birthday every... just a couple of weeks ago, yeah. and yeah. your brother. What's his name? Carl. 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 A good one. Carl. A good yeah. one. Yeah. What's so great about Carl? Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Did, did, did Carl ever get a divorce? No, not that I know of. Did he have trouble with the neighbors? No, not no, that I know no. of. No, did he ever have a, an affair? An affair? With someone? Carl, no. Not and even not one? Not even. No. No. Was he ever known to take his pecker out of his pants? Not no. once. No, I don't believe he ever did. No, I don't, I don't he think did. he did. No. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I knew this was a class joint. Mm. Hey, sweetie, how are you? I'm all right. I'm hanging in would there. Would you like the same for the lady? Uh, oh, would you want a drink, honey? Oh, yeah. I, I'd like a, a, a glass of red wine, please. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bartender, I would like another drink. Why, certainly. Another drinky pool, please. My feelings for you are very uncomplicated. (laughs) I I told you. I told you that first night. I said, man, this works, but let's not pretend it's anything else. You know, and I was honest with you. You were honest with me. Well, I'm honest. You pushed me out your front door. You know, that's about (laughs) as honest as you can get. That's it. You're done. Goodbye. Don't forget to clock out. Right. (laughs) I said clock out. (laughs) But, I mean, that's... that's something that we will always have. Uh, when we were, you know, when we were really something, we were something because we were nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But what I like about you is that you always kind of look like you're repulsed by something. Yeah. And that's a turn on. Do you know what I mean? Really? Like it's to, because uh, I don't feel like you want anything from me. As a matter of fact, you always look like you're smelling something bad. It's the future, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I remember when I met you at that party that first time I met you. You joked you were with your friends and you were like, if you were my girlfriend, I'd pass you around to all my friends. And I, <laughs> I loved, I was like, that's my type of guy. I mean, I liked you for, uh, I don't know, it made me feel good. Well, because it's there's no greater compliment than to be really that brutal and cold. Because it means I'm not playing games with you. And what's more affectionate than that? You know? Yeah, and what's more of a turn on, you know? <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> you are, you know what? You may be the smartest woman in Hollywood. <laughs> All right, put your drinks down. This is a hostile takeover. Just how hostile is this takeover going to be? Oh, very hostile. You have no friends, Mel. They're all gone. You know what? Your breath smells, and not in a good way. Oh, that's so funny. I almost fell off my dinosaur. That's so funny. I forgot to laugh. Who cuts your hair? Vidal spittoon? You know what? You were always nothing. nothing. I was always something. You're always I was nothing. Always something. You're, You're on your way out. You are. Who the hell do you think you are? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sam, Sam, we're in the middle of a hostile takeover. Wait a minute. Hold, what? hold your takeover. I have very, very good news. The, the cash is flowing. The shareholders are happy again. Jim... Kerry has agreed to do the picture after all. What? Uh, He's doing serious? It. Sam, tell me what happened. Well, that's a long story. 
I leave the meeting that we had. There was a lot of traffic on the 405. You know, the part where it meets the 101, I believe it's called. It's the Ventura Freeway where it joins. There was some kind of a crash. I think it was one of those trucks that has chickens in it where they take them somewhere far away. And I always wonder when I see the chicken truck, will they all die, the chickens? Do they know they're going to die? Is this a happy ride for the chickens? I was thinking about that when all of a sudden this guy turned around from the side where I didn't see him and he struck my fender, but it was not a bad accident where a person could be hurt, although I have heard that people can be hurt from very small accidents that deploy your airbag. If that happens, the airbag itself could be seen as the worst than an accident that could happen on the outside. Dr. Stein. Dr. Stein, Mel Wax. Hey. Have you got a minute? Uh, for you, two minutes. Can you hear in my voice how happy, how relieved, and how happy I am? I, I heard it instantly. Oh, my God. Well, it's, it's healthy. It's, it's what um, it feels like. It feels like health. Happiness and health, they, they both feel, make you feel hopeful, you know? It's just great. It's, it's what I, I used to call the three H's. What's that? Happiness. Yeah. Healthy. Yeah. And hopeful. No, listen, I mean, you know, deep down, we're all Paul Newman. We like something that begins with an H. Right. Well, now that you've gotten to the uh, difficult stage of, of your business, yeah. you can get to the business of life. All right. Well, listen, one of these days, <clears throat> I'm face to face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so busy. I mean, I keep missing my regular session. <clears throat> to, to come. It's, it's yeah. not such a bad substitute. Uh, I think it's been very productive. I think at a certain point, you're going to have to uh, spend time in my office. Yeah. And I hate to say this, shut off your phone. Yeah. Uh, you, you're so right. Be Hold on one second. 